probably attended dozens, if not hundreds, of conferences during your career and then listened to the feedback about the conference speakers in the hallway. It was great. She was pretty good. Boring. Half the audience walked out. Yet, beyond the generalities of heard it before are very entertaining, those offering the critiques may have been hard-pressed to tell you specifically what made the difference in their reactions. About once a month, I tend to lecture by a highly credentialed scholar. Let's call him Dr. Max Irving. Technically speaking, he's always prepared, always on time, always has pages of notes, though he rarely has to refer to them, always has a handout, always has a pleasant attitude, always tosses in a little humor here and there. He started out with approximately 35 in the group. As of last week, the audience has dwindled to seven. I'm now, as I write this blog, as I do this audio, compare that experience to another series about a year ago in which a speaker, Dr. Dale Tackett, was brought in by video. He was mesmerizing the crowd for a full 60 minutes. You could have heard the proverbial pin drop, except for the laughter and his humor here and there. Attendance held steady for 12 weeks. What made the difference between these two well-educated, well-prepared speakers before the crowd who really wanted to hear what they had to say? Well, here's my take on the difference between the good and the great speakers. Number one, content. Good speakers create and organize their talk, building a slideshow or whatever AV to support their key message. But great speakers analyze their audience and then create and organize their talk to create relevancy. And then they decide if and when they'll add AV support to those key points. A second distinction, preparation. Good speakers never just wing it. They have an outline. They prepare their opening and closing. They've reviewed that outline. They review their notes. They review their slides several times. So they're thoroughly familiar with their material. So what do great speakers do differently? They've actually done walkthroughs of their presentation. They understand that knowing the information and what comes next is only half the job. A third distinction, energy. Good speakers feed off of energy and feedback from the audience. But great speakers generate their own energy. They generate their passion from their own interest in the topic and the audience and the outcome. Another difference, body language. Good speakers have good posture. They use appropriate gestures. They make strong eye contact and they move with intention. But great speakers, they become their own visual support. Their delivery flows so much in sync with their message and the personality that it's difficult to separate the dip, the, those two things. Their body language becomes just part of what they use to engage the audience. Another distinction, vocal qualities. Good speakers choose clear words. They articulate well. They vary their pace, their volume their intensity. Great speakers, on the other hand, do the same, but they add rhythm. They milk the silences for both subtle and strong messages. Listen to some of your favorite comedians for lessons on pausing. A sixth difference, audience involvement. Good speakers talk to an audience. But great speakers, they talk with an audience. The audience feels as if they are one-on-one -on -one in conversation with the speaker. A seventh distinction between the good and great. Good speakers answer questions clearly and concisely, whether giving a fact, an example, or an opinion. But great speakers answer the right questions. 
by reframing if necessary to make their point. They make sure that their response is memorable by providing appropriate structure, colorful phrasing, and apt examples. Can you add some other differences between the good and great speaker in the comment box below?